Hi, my name is Ravi Kumati, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology, Bangalore. So today I am here to explain the pentagonal prism problems. Okay, so how to solve pentagonal prism problems and how to find out whether it is a locus or without locus problem. Okay, we'll see first problem. So first problem, yeah, uh, first problem. It's a pentagonal prism, 25 mm size of base and 60 mm axis length rest on HP on one of its edge of the base okay please remember so what is the first condition so first condition is what here 25 mm sides and 60 mm axis length rest on HP on one of its edge so it is a edge condition okay of base which is inclined to VP at 30 degree means edge of the base is inclined to VP at 30 degree this is third position okay so draw the projection of the prism when axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree so this is second position we will see, see first position is edge on HP means edge towards your right hand side. What is the second, uh, we will see, uh, do the naming, yeah. So the, if you are looking from front of an object, if you are looking from front of an object, the uh, sorry, if you top of an object, the pentagonal prism look like a regular pentagonal. So you, it as already discussed in the previous problems, it has a top face and bottom face. So top face will name it as A, B, C, D, E and top bottom face will name it as A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1. So yes, if you are looking from top of an object, bottom face is invisible, only top face is visible. So that's why we have named it as A1, B1 in a brocade. Okay, so this is your top view of the pentagonal prism. So what is the front view? See, uh, from the axis, I have to draw height 60 mm height. Okay, so I have to draw 60 mm height. Then I have to draw like this. See, this is our front view of pentagonal prism. Okay, what is the naming? So, if you are looking from bottom of an object, see from this side, A1 is visible, bottom face A1 dash is visible, B1 dash is invisible. Similarly, top face A dash is visible, B dash is invisible. So, similar way, O dash and O dash. Next year, E1 is visible and C1 is invisible. So, E1 dash and C1 dash here, E dash and C dash. Next, D1 dash is visible and D dash is visible. So, this is a first position of pentagonal prism. What is the second position? The second position has already said that axis 40 degree to HP. Here one axis is inclined to HP and other one is edge is inclined to VP. So that is without locus problem. Okay. Yeah. So this is 40 degree and you take this, I can rotate to a 40 degree. You take any one point, this point and different place and then you can rotate to a 40 degree. So the naming will same thing will be copied there. Yeah. The naming is copied. Next, you have to draw projection line. Okay, see this projection line. Okay, so don't waste the time to draw unnecessary lines. Where if the point is intersecting somewhere, you please draw up to that. Okay, yeah. See, I have drawn only up to that. Yeah. So this I have done a naming also. See, uh, A. See, this is A and this is B and C, D, E. Everything I have named. So here, if you're looking from uh, top of an object, so first thing you have to find out the visible edges. Visible edges means all outer edges are visible. See, all outer edges are visible. Next, if you looking from top of an object, this top face is completely visible means A, B, C, D, E is visible. So that we have to draw with the help of visible line. Next, see D to D1 is a visible edge. Okay, this is a visible point and this is a visible point. So we have to use visible line means this for this one. D and D dash is completely visible. So that is with the help of visible line. Next, which one is an invisible point? B1 and A1 is an invisible. So this complete edge is an invisible edge. So we have to use invisible lines. Okay. So as I already said that is a joining between visible point to invisible point, we have to use an invisible line. See A1 is an invisible, but E1 is a visible. So we have to use invisible similarly. So we have completed the second position of the problem. Okay. What is the third position? See third position is edge is inclined to VP at 30 degree. So which one is which edge? It is a resting edge. Resting edge is inclined to VP. This resting edge is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Yeah. See we have placed means you can select this and you can place. So it is complete complete image is placed there. Okay. So the naming will be copied same similarly. Okay. So next I have to draw projection line. See projection line. Projection line. So I will explain. Okay. Yeah, so projection line and naming is also completed. So first thing, first thing is what you have to find out outer edge. Okay, so outer edge means all outer edges are visible means A1 to A, 
E D C okay D to D uh, then C to C sorry uh, D to E is, is not, not there but C to C is outer edge but uh, D is a visible and D is a visible so we will use visible line okay yeah if you looking from bottom of an object this bottom face is completely visible so that's why we have drawn with the help of visible line okay so D1 D is a visible edges and even E is a visible edge which one is the invisible so invisible point is what this P is an invisible point means this point is a invisible so joining between D to any visible edge B to any visible edge you have to use invisible line because it is a invisible edges okay see all green edges are called as invisible edges okay so this completes the uh, problem means here very important thing you have to identify that whether edge is inclined or axis is inclined here edge is inclined okay edge of the base is inclined to vp so that's why we call it as a without locus okay we'll see what is the next problem see next problem is yeah you can observe same it is at 25 mm side 60 mm axis length rest on hp on one of its edge of the base draw the projection of the prism when axis is inclined to vp and hp as previous slide i have said that okay when the axis is inclined to both the plane we call it as a locus problem we here appear word is not there so we call it as a locus problem and it is a edge condition see first condition you know uh, first position is same okay so first position is same uh, similar to previous problem yeah first position is same and then second position is also same because it is 40 degree uh, inclined to hp the same thing we copied and paste okay same thing everything is same then we have to draw vertically uh, a projection line downward and horizontal line then we have to find out the visible and invisible edges okay so this is a, a first and second position of the problem uh, similar last problem is similar first and second position is similar yeah, edge is uh, towards your uh, right hand side next we have to find out which is a true length so this is a true length okay so this giant you know length we taking from o to o okay here also we have to take o to o so this o to o is a apparent length this o to o is a true length so with the help of this we have to find out beta angle means uh, in you know uh, inclination with vp okay see 30 degree then i have taken a true length okay taken a true length then i have to draw locus line see so i have drawn a locus line from the same point i have to take a apparent length and i have to cut an arc on a locus line see so i have to cut an arc on locus line this is a apparent length not a, loc uh, a true length next i have to join a line then i, I have to extend this way xy line so you'll get the beta angle okay so beta angle so this beta angle only you're going to find out when uh, locus is fine locus problem you have to find out the beta okay what is the next next is what you take o o1 and you can place it on this o2 o1 means inclination with vp so we have placed okay so what is the next position i have to draw a similar way uh, projection line okay projection line then i have to do naming okay so yeah if you looking from uh, as a first position first step is you have to draw all outer edges are visible see all outer edges are visible next step is what if you looking from top of bottom of an object this bottom face is completely visible so i have to use with the help of visible line i have to draw with the help of visible line because it is visible so which one is invisible see c and b these two points are invisible because these two points are away from the observer so i have to use these two points invisible line see the red lines are called as invisible edges okay see uh, b is a invisible then a is a visible i have to use invisible edges okay similarly b is a visible invisible but this b one is a visible so i have to use invisible so similar way we have completed this so this is what your uh, you know a second problem means it is a with locus problem so with locus problem yeah we can see the next problem yeah next problem is is a pentagonal prism 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length so it rest on of its corner so last two previous problems are edge condition problem this is corner condition problem okay here again there is a yeah x next base and two edges containing the corner on which it rest makes equal inclination with vp hp sorry so draw the projection yeah here when axis is inclined to hp at 40 degree please remember second position third position is appears to be inclined to vp at 45 degree if the appear word is present it is a without locus problem okay if the appear word is absent it is a with locus problem okay because axis is inclined to both the plane okay axis is inclined to both the plane yeah we'll see 
So, yeah, first position, yeah, it is a corner. If you're looking from top of an object, so the corner should be towards your right hand side. Yeah, do the naming. Okay, so we have done the naming. So, this is a uh, top view of an object. Okay, it's a pentagonal prism, top view, corner condition. What is the next? I have to try again. I have to take a height axis height. So, it is a 50 mm height. Then I have to complete the thing. So, this is I have done, you know, I have taken a uh, vertical straight line. Then I have completed. Next, I have to do the naming here. So, the naming is very important. Yeah, A1 is visible, A1 dash. Here it is A dash. Next, if you are looking from bottom of an object, E1 is visible, B1 is invisible. Similarly, I have taken here. Similarly, B dash and E dash. So, O and O. Yeah, here again uh, D1 is visible, C1 is invisible. Similarly, I have taken C1 dash and D1 dash. C1 dash in bracket because it is not visible. So, similarly here C dash and D dash. C dash is invisible, D dash is visible. So, this is a first position of problem. What is the second position? Yeah, 40 degree incline to HP. So, after taken 40 degree inclination with HP, next is what? Again, I have to copy this and I place and I have to rotate. Okay, I have to rotate for 40 degree. Then the same naming will be copied. So, what is the next? So, next is you have to draw projection line. See, projection line downward. Then you have to do the naming. Okay, so the naming and projection line is done. Okay, what is the first step of uh, second position is first you have to draw all outer edges. Okay, all outer edges are visible. Next, if you're looking from top of an object, the top face is completely visible. So I have drawn with the help of visible line. So I have completed the uh, visible edges. Next, I have to find out the invisible. Invisible, which one is invisible? This A1 dash is a invisible. So joining between invisible edges to visible edges we have to use invisible line ok. See this red lines are called as invisible edges. So, this completes the second position of the problem. What is the third position? Third position is appears to be VP appears axis appears to 45 degree to VP. So, I have to draw 45 degree line then I have to copy this axis then I have to place it on inclined to VP. See I have placed ok. So, what is the next position? I have to draw projection line upward. Yeah. So, projection line. See here I have <coughs> next projection line. So, uh, I have to I have completed all the projection lines. Ok. So, and you have including naming. See, uh, please remember my sincere suggestion is first do the, uh, you know, first join all projection lines, then do the naming immediately. Ok. If not, you will, you will get confused way from where to where I have to draw ok because it is a uh, more namings are there, more namings are there. So, it get confused ok. So, yes what is the next step? So, next step is I have to find out the visible all outer edges are visible I have to complete ok all outer edges are visible. Next if you are looking from bottom of an object bottom face is visible see I have drawn with the help of visible line all bottom edges are visible which is invisible which is invisible that is a very important thing this B is a invisible point because it is a away from the observer yeah you can observe here see this b is a invisible point and joining between invisible point to visible point i have to use invisible line okay so this is the very clear information okay very clearly you have to do and please don't confuse here okay don't confuse don't make any confusion here it's very clear okay yeah this completes the uh, third problem so here it is a without locus because the word appear presenting the problem yeah, now you can easily identify whether it is a locus or without locus problem, yes. Yeah, now tell me whether it is a locus or without locus. See, here the similar problem, but in this problem the appear word is not there. If the appear word is not there and uh, both axis is inclined to both the plane, it understood that it is a with locus problem means you have to find out the beta angle, okay, yeah, see. First position is same, okay, corner position. So, first position uh, is same as similar problem, okay, 50 and you have to do the naming, okay. What is the next? Again, second position is same, 40 degree inclined to HP. So, second position is also same, okay, same thing is copied from the first position, okay. Again, I have to draw vertical, you know, downward means projection line, then I have to do the naming, okay. So, next is what I have to find out the visible edges means all outer edges are visible. I have to draw with the help of visible edges, visible line. Okay, so that's completed. Next, if you're looking from top of an object, top face is visible. So, that I have to draw with the help of visible lines. Okay, what is the invisible? 
the a1 is a invisible so a1 is a invisible see all red lines are invisible lines so this completes the second position and here come the third position what you want to do third position you have to find out the beta angle means it is a locus with locus so for this you have to find out true length so first one true length is 50 next apparent length true length you have taken from o to o apparent length is also you have to take from o to o okay so this is a true apparent length and this is a true length so what is the next step i have to take the inclination with vp 30 degree okay what is the next step i have to take true length then i have to cut an arc okay true length i have to cut an arc next what is the next sign so where it is intersection so from here i have to draw locus line see locus line okay so next what is the second uh, what is the next step so next step is I, we have find out already what is the apparent length with the help of this apparent length so from this this inter, you know center point or uh, point of contact so from here i have to draw i have to cut an arc i have to cut an arc where so i have to cut an arc on locus line okay locus line see i have to cut an arc on locus line then do the naming o and o1 so this o and o1 is a apparent length next extend this line up to xy line then find out the beta okay so yeah, yeah we have to find out the beta next same thing you copy and you place here so this completes the beta angle construction okay next is what you have to do projection line then you have to do the naming yes next is the projection line then do the naming okay after completed this you have to find out the visible and invisible edges so first thing is outer edges are visible see outer edges are visible next thing is what if you're looking from bottom of an object bottom face is completely visible so i have to draw with the help of visible line i have to join all the bottom edges with the help of visible line so next thing is what you have to find out which is a invisible point so the b is a invisible point because it is away from the observer so joining between b to any other point so with the help of with the help of invisible line you can see all red lines are invisible line so this completes the locus problem so here is very easy to understand how to find out with locus or without locus problems okay so please keep it in mind if the word appear present along with this axis is inclined to both the plane so it is a without locus if the word is appear absent and axis is inclined to both the plane means it is a with locus okay so thank you so next slide next video i'll take up with the projection of you know pr prism you know solid uh, projection of hexagonal prism okay I'll, next video i'll take it up projection of hexagonal prism thank you